Hi friends, welcome to another sketchwear tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to enable download in webview using sketchwear. Actually, this feature is not yet implemented in sketchwear. So, we have to depend on third party app to download in any files, images or any songs etc. Now, I am going to create a new web browser for you guys I'm just taking a web view and on activity create I'm going to this web view load URL I'm just setting the http www.google.com okay that's it let's run our app this is just simple browser it shows uh, google.com but it doesn't feature any downloads it does not download anything okay so i don't guess all right let me type funny whatsapp of download okay and uh, let me go to this site Let me download this image. Here, as you can see, there is an option for download. But when I press this button, but when I press this button, it will not be downloading, as you can see. So, what I do is, I hijack some code using a bug in variables. So I am going to create a new number variable and before activity create self that's it. I am just assigning it to a number and let me save this project. So again go to this file explorer. I think uh, you are familiar with uh, hijacking. Let me injecting code injection. Um, actually, I think this is my third video on uh, hijacking videos. So, you have to go to this data. As you can see, identify the folder in which you want to hijack the code. Go to the logic. Open with any note editor. And identify the part in which you want to edit the code. Here, as you can see, my code. Here, I want to hijack my code. Before that, I already pasted some code Yes, I think I go to this project Notes, my notes Yes, you have to download hijack This is the code you want to place in that logic section Just copy this I will just leave a link you guys to download this code yes it is finished now so let's save the logic and let's go back to the sketch here but as you can see as you can see my hijacking is completed so let's update our app and let's see whether my browser supports downloading or not. Let's install it. So I'm going to do the same process which I did earlier. And I am going to download the same image and here when I press this download button here as you can see I am migrated to this download page and yes as you can see I am going to set a new file and 
tasks me to replace the file because I already downloaded this in my phone. That's how to, here as you can see, uh, my image will be downloading. That's how to enable download in a web view using Sketchware. That's it for today guys. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.